More people have come forward to complain they were severely sunburnt while using a popular brand of sunscreen. But the Banana Boat brand insists its products are safe. And as Amy Bainbridge reports, an investigation by the Therapeutic Goods Administration has endorsed that claim. Melbourne sales manager Briar Houston's trip to a Perth beach last month left her badly sunburnt with blisters and swollen legs. Getting dressed, walking, it was just so, so painful. She'd applied a Banana Boat SPF 50 aerosol sunscreen twice to the backs of her legs, while the rest of her body was covered by a different SPF moisturiser. I was not burnt anywhere else, not my face, not my shoulders, no burns anywhere. Ms Houston complained on Banana Boat's Facebook page and found she wasn't alone. Brisbane mother Kirsty Helmesh used aerosol spray and roll-on sunscreen on her children during a Christmas camping trip. Her nine-year-old daughter was badly burnt. I, I was just horrified. She, she had blisters the size of 10 cent pieces. It was in the middle of my back and it stung when I hopped in the shower. Dermatologist Dr Natasha Cook says some people don't use enough sunscreen to give adequate protection, while some others may have an allergic reaction. Certainly we do see reactions or allergies to sunscreens based on the base chemicals in the sunscreen agents, such as the preservatives, but we can also see reactions which are known as photoallergic contact reactions to the chemical um, blocking agents that are in the sunscreens. The Therapeutic Goods Administration conducted chemical testing of some Banana Boat sunscreens last year after receiving consumer complaints. It found no evidence of any problems. The company also says its products are safe. We have no plans to change the composition of our product. We stand behind the efficacy of our products that are effective for the vast majority of people. Cancer Council sunscreen has also been under fire, with claims one baby was so badly sunburnt he was hospitalised while using one of its products. Amy Bainbridge, ABC News.